you over, if you over, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, hmm, mine went blank again. <laughs> uh, season, okay? You take away from the sauce, okay? So what we're going to do now is we have a quarter cup of olive oil. We have a quarter cup of, of wine, okay? We have quarter, uh, we have uh, two tablespoons or more of lemon juice, okay? We have garlic. Now my garlic on this recipe, I like to shave, okay? I don't like to chop it because when you shave garlic, okay, you can see all the oils coming out of it and then it almost disperses in the pan, okay? So it really gets into your sauce. All right, so now with this shrimp, it calls for salt and pepper. I like to use lemon pepper, okay? Lemon pepper adheres to the shrimp better and what it does it, from the, the lemon that's in here, okay, it keeps the shrimp firm. They don't, they don't get mushy, they don't fall apart, okay? So, <coughs> And what we're going to do is add uh, some parsley later to it, okay, and some lemon, okay. So right now what we're going to do, what I'm going to do right now is, I'm going to put the pasta in here. So by the time we're done with the sauce, the pasta will be ready, okay. So we're going to do that. I hope everybody's hungry. Yeah. I do need lunch. Hope you got enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's telling me something, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, okay. let's get the pasta in here. The angel heart pasta? No, this is regular linguine. Yeah, this is linguine. So we'll get this going. Of course, you season your water with salt. Okay, anytime you make a pasta. Okay, so we'll get that up there and that'll get going. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to get my pan and I'm going to get my olive oil. Okay, olive oil goes in. Okay, nice. Nice. You said olive. that was a quarter cup? That is a third. I believe a third cup, right? Yep. All right. And now, uh, with that, I'm going to add. And my garlic for that. Okay, we'll get that garlic nice in there, like so. And when okay. you say five cloves, you need nice big ones, right? Oh yeah, you could you could overdo the garlic also. It doesn't matter. Well, the more garlic, the better. But, okay, five five cloves are perfect. Okay. Okay, five cloves are perfect. Okay, we're gonna get this on the stove here now. Okay, and we're gonna get this going. <clears throat> And what we do is we're going to saute, saute our garlic and olive oil, and we're going to get our shrimp. Okay, now with the shrimp, what I like to do, <clears throat> sprinkle it over and then toss it. Okay, a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. You want that over. Is that now, the lemon pepper? Excuse me. Is that the lemon pepper? That's the lemon pepper. Three and a piece of Three and a piece of Don't do like I do. I inhale it. Oh. <laughs> so. Let's get that. So, that's what we're doing. So is that the lemon pepper? <laughs> yes. You, you're using a lot more than a tablespoon. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. <laughs> because I have a lot more shrimp. I have a lot more shrimp. In other words, it only calls for maybe a bag of shrimp. Okay, but this is three, four bags of shrimp. Oh, excuse don't, me. Don't uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So, we're going to get this going. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, and our pasta is doing good here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Have you don't put any oil in your water at all? I'm sorry? I said you don't put any like oil into the water at all. No, no. Salt. I salt the water. That, the oil is a farce. It okay, doesn't. But, it doesn't make the the pasta. Some, you know, I'd say it make, doesn't make it stick. It does. It does. <laughs> so, so we'll get this turned a little bit. Like so, and we got our our garlic going. And now what we're going to do is we're going to dump our shrimp in here. Just like that. Now save your pan before the shrimp comes back out here again. Okay, like so. And we'll get this. This is going good. So. I love cooking on gas stoves rather than electric because you could get the heat just exactly the way you want it, okay? Yeah. Yeah. With the electric stove, it takes a while. You, to simmer something, you'll go crazy. If I have to make a sauce, I mean, you know, I don't have to worry about taking it off the burner. I have the burner set perfectly, you know? So, so and you want, you want the shrimp to, to get just a slight pink to it. Okay, because it's going to be cooking a little bit more in the sauce when you make your sauce, okay? So, as we, as we go along, I'll explain step by step here what we're doing. <clears throat> now, this, this recipe calls for red pepper, okay? But a lot of people don't care for the red pepper, so I eliminated that, okay? And I eliminated the salt. I used the uh, lemon pepper instead. The flavor is a lot better. Okay, a lot better. Because the cooked shrimp, your shrimp is cooked already. Now, if you heat it again, it's going to get hard. The shrimp is going to get too rubbery for you. Okay, that's why raw shrimp. Okay, you could do it opaque. Okay, and then add whatever you want to it, and then it'll cook the rest of the way in your sauce or whatever you're making with it. If you're doing a stir fry, the same thing. Okay, you only want the shrimp to be just slightly pink, a little opaque, where it looks uh, it looks almost raw. Okay, opaque you could almost see through it, really. Okay, so well, undercooked. Yes. <coughs> and we're doing good here. God, look at that, both hands. Holy cow, I feel like I'm back in the restaurant again. Jeez. Get the plates ready. <laughs> so, you like that, huh? I used to work at a diner when I was a kid. Yeah. That's good. Oh, the boss's favorite. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I love it. That's good. Did you used to be a professional chef? <laughs> I'm sorry? Were you a professional chef? Actually, I was a sous chef. I was a sous chef for over 10 years, okay, when I lived in uh, New Jersey. Okay, yeah. This is roughly, if you can see, what it looks like. Wow. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put that right in this pan here. Okay, we're going to take this out like so. We're going to lower our heat a little bit. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to make our sauce. So we have our wine. Get 
get our wine in there. And we have our lemon juice. And we want that in there. Okay, and what I'm going to do here, so I don't forget. Any particular wine do you recommend? Okay. A white wine is sufficient for this, this kind of meal. You could use Pinot Grigio. A little sweeter wine is even better, okay? You could use Chardonnay, you could use a Blanc, okay? Any white wines work beautifully with this. And what did you mix in with the wine? What's that vegetation in there? I'm sorry? What, what, uh, when you oh, that was only parsley. Oh, that okay. was just parsley. It happened to be in there. All right. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to let that simmer a little bit. So, and this should be just about done here also. and everything. Just like so. And now we're going to get maybe a ladle of reserved water. Okay, here. Like so. Now, now that came what, from the, the noodles, right? The, the, from the pasta water? That's a pasta water, correct. Okay, you usually get about a half a cup or so. Okay, what it does, the starch thickens it a bit. Okay, rather than using cornstarch or water. Okay, so. Okay, we're gonna let this simmer just a wee, wee bit. I'm sorry? Did you do the chicken broth or you were just using the, the pasta water? I used pasta water. And chicken broth? You can, no. You can use, I had um, uh, the uh, wine. The wine. Okay? Now, the, the water from the uh, pasta, okay, I added in place of the chicken broth. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious, oh, oh. my goodness. You ever make a meal and you stand there and you eat it before you start? <laughs> <laughs> you're making it before you start. And I just like to put a little bit of parsley in there. A little. Yes. Yeah, well, considering how much shrimp there is, yeah. Now, what I want to do is I want to add my butter to that now. Okay. Half a stick? I'm sorry? Half a stick? Yes. Yes. Half a stick. Whatever it calls for. It calls for actually uh, uh, four tablespoons and a half a stick. Correct. Okay. Correct. That is correct. We'll get our butter in here. Okay. Everybody likes their pasta al dente, right? Sure. Okay. Now we'll do it that way. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now. Now 
now we're going to do, we're going to toss all this together. We're going to toss that all together just like that. So, let me use this one better. And we'll do like so. I said, you sound like a beef for mama. How do you like that? Do this right. Let's do it this way first. 